Hello, in this video we're going to see how we can create a project to connect to a SOAP web service. So uh, SOAP web services are a lot of web services we can find in ex enterprise applications. For example, SAP, for example, Salesforce uh, and other packages like this can be accessed by SOAP connectors. So that's why Convertigo has a SOAP connector integrated. So we're going to have this by making a new project and we're going to choose uh, a template. So in Convertigo projects, we're going to find the template for the web service conception and we're going to choose SOAP web service template here. Good. In this uh, the project, I will name this as SOAP connector demo. Okay, so this is the name of the project uh, using the simple object access protocol, normalized protocol for connecting. Next. And there I have to put a valid double ESDL URL. So a WSDL URL is a URL that provides your web service provider will give you this URL as uh, an input. So I have already prepared one of these URLs here. I'm going to copy and paste it in my uh, in my window here and this is for a URL I'm going to find on the uh, on the network so a new a real URL here so finish and I'm waiting for my wizard to complete and automatically I will have a project with a connector and you'll see that my connector has now a global company uh, binding this is the name of the connector has been automatically created by the wizard for the soap uh, connector in just one click Oh, by the way, you can see this connector is based on the HTTP connector, of course. And beneath this connector, I have transactions. And all these transactions are methods of the web services. So these are the four methods I have in my web services. We uh, have these methods because they are described in the web services description language. Uh, I just imported, OK? Let's have a look to the methods here. Again, if I just click on a transaction, I will have some attributes of the of the transaction and you'll see that uh, we're going to use the HTTP web as post. This is normal because in the SOAP protocol this is what we should do. We're going to see that the HTTP headers are automatically positioned by the SOAP wizard. So the content time is already posed and everything and you see the SOAP action here has been automatically set up to the name of the SOAP method. Again, this is absolutely completely automatic. And you'll see, you will notice here a um, a request template. This property also has been automatically uh, set up by the wizard. To have more details here, we just can switch to the Project Explorer tab and you will see that in the Project Explorer we'll have a SOAP template directory and in this directory we have for each of the methods uh, what we call the SOAP templates envelopes. For example, uh, C department list, this is the, uh, or get employee, this is the envelope here. And you'll see that uh, we have automatically the SOAP envelope generated for you. And you understand that the employee ID will be templated in the envelope by the Convertigo uh, itself. Okay. So again, to make a SOAP connector, you don't have to do anything. It's completely automatic. Just import uh, your WSDL this way. Now, in this project, we created a project from scratch by creating a SOAP template. Of course, if you want to add a SOAP connection to an existing project, you can do it this way. You're going to use right click and then import web service reference. Import web service reference. Okay. And again, we're going to ask you for a WSDL. So we have a sample WSDL here. We can use this one. And again, we're importing, and that's why I have now in my project two connectors, one with the global company and one with the country info information services and all the transactions I had from this. Again, this is completely automatic. Now, let's say we would like to test one of these uh, web services. So to do this, I'm going to use the test case of Convertigo. So for example, I would like to execute the department list here. So to run the, the, the web service method, I will just have to right click and execute. Automatically, Convertigo will execute the web service and I have in return the response of the web service here. And this is the proof that this web service did work. I can have the get the employee list again, execute, and I have the response of the employee list. Okay, good. So this is the simplest web service making it that this this is working. Now I would like to say to test get employee, as we see that get employee has a variable 
uh, we have to specify what is the employee ID I want. For example, I would like to have details on employee ID number three. So I have to enter the employee ID. To do this, I'm going to use what I'm calling a test case. So new test case. I will have this test case. I will name it test with ID to three. This is the name of the test case. And in this test case, I will just have to specify the global ID and I will change default value. I click on the little box to remove the null and then I can type three here in my uh, test case. OK, I can save the project. Now I will execute the test with three. Run. And here it is. I have now all my information for uh, this information. Again, test cases are very, very useful to uh, execute any transaction and any uh, object you can find in Convertio by specific test case. If you want, you can have as many test cases as you want. So I can just copy Control C and paste Control V this uh, test case. I will rename it to uh, test with two four and I will change, of course, the variable here and say that my variable should be four. Again, now I can test employee ID four, execute, run, and I, this is my employee ID four. Okay, so this is why you can very simply create uh, connectors to SOAP web services. Now, in the f uh, next videos, you're going to see how uh, you can make sequences that will invoke these transactions and uh, process the response of the web service response to extract and filter data. For example, if your mobile application doesn't want to have all this data to be transferred to the mobile, you'll see that the sequence will be able to just pick the name or the first name of the employee and just this data will go and flow to back to the mobile. And this is in the next videos we're going to see this. Thank you very much.